Okay, got the barbed wire 17 inch bolt. I've had this for so long. I don't have the top, but I 3D printed a top. It's a little big, so I gotta resize it or I'll just use this and tape it, but it is a little squishy too. Oh. Huh. Look at the inside. It's it has been through the years. This I had to fix the tape here. Uh, cause I think I got caught up in the motor once. Like it is old. Look, even this part right here, 3d printed to hold it. And then I just had to install this piece here cause that the intake broke. So you can see it back here. I'm just testing it right now with a 2S nickel metal hydrate in the crack just to see if it would work. So if it works, I'll put some silicone on this, probably grease up some stuff and uh, get her going in the river. <clears throat> I did test it before I brought it down. It did turn on. Turns. Oh yeah. Oh. didn't work the way I wanted. Filled right up with water because I threw it. <laughs> oh, I think it will work. I just have, I don't think I have enough power. sure why it's doing that. Oh. I should go get a 3S. All right, we're back. I got a 3S, 1000 milliamp hour battery. It's not fully charged, it's kind of in storage mode. But, See how it works. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, baby. Oh yeah. I think the battery's getting low. 
<laughs> Come on, just make it to the... Go, go, go! Let's go! <clears throat> there we go. There. So, what I'll do is take the shaft out, grease it, spray it all inside, let it dry out. And I gotta seal this back here so no water gets in. But that seemed to be working because I definitely saw bubbles in here and uh, make the cover. I should 3D print it or cut, cut something out that's heavy duty and just tape on that's flat. Then I got another boat. All right, thanks for watching.